Hey guys, I'm Wynn. I'm Julie. And you are Chasing the Cops. How do you renovate your RV in less than two weeks for under $200? We'll show you how. We wanted to go ahead and show you the four products that we used on our RV cabinets to renovate or paint them from brown to white. First is a liquid sander deglosser. Instead of sanding all the cabinets, we went with liquid. Just put it in a spray bottle, spray everything down, rub it really good, and it's like cleaning your cabinets. Next, we went with a oil base kills primer. Very sticky, very messy, but great. Then a latex high hide white semi-gloss interior paint and then finally to seal it our polycrylic water-based um, sealer this comes on clear and you just really have to make sure and watch what you're doing so you get all the pieces and do a really good job so that's what we used if you are trying to repaint or change the paint color of all the cabinets in your RV so we picked up our RV on Sunday April 28th no. by Monday our next door neighbor was already in the RV, like trying to take off our cabinet doors and prime it, trying to paint it for us. Uh, that was a fail. That was Bob the Builder. Yeah. So our beginning experiment of painting, we just didn't do enough research. We didn't YouTube. We didn't plan. We just kind of tried. We attacked and it failed. Um, and that's what you can see in that very first video. Mm -hmm. We... We showed you kind of what it looks like to go from the old, dirty, the brown into that new, clean white. Um, but we had a few mistakes along the way. We had to fail first. So Monday, we took all the doors off and all the hardware. By Tuesday, we were taking that sander deglosser and rubbing down all cabinet doors and then all of the interior of the RV. Wednesday, we put on the old base primer. Which was sticky and a hot mess. It's fun. It's not great. But it worked. On Thursday, we started our first coat of paint. And Friday, we realized we needed a second coat of paint. One was not enough. Because the first coat did not. We also started painting the walls at that point. And once everything had that second coat of paint on it on Saturday, we started putting all of the cabinets back on, the hardware back on. This was not alone, guys. We were working full time, um, taking care of the kids. So we had desperately, um, or we needed the help of our next door neighbor. Best thing to do is find a retired guy who knows what he's doing and has all the time in the world and loves you dearly. Loves you he dearly. Will, he will do some of the work for you. Thank you, Bob Wyatt. <laughs> um, by Sunday, we had everything ready to go and so I went out to Walmart and I purchased some material. This was really easy and fairly inexpensive. I got some navy and white material that I like that was aesthetically pleasing to me mm -hmm. and we started recovering all the valances we started covering those dinette cushions ours are broken up into two separate pieces so that was a fairly easy um, fix 
and then we ordered a um, couch cover off Amazon and we were able to fit it right around our couches. After I took the remaining material from Walmart and recovered one of the pillows, that's how we got the completed look of our RV. And 30 minutes later, we had our first scratch on the wall thanks to Camden, our toddler. <laughs> So this was a fairly quick process. I want to break down right quick the budget that we needed and the time frame. Mm -hmm. We had planned that it would only take one week. Um, it kind of stretched into that second week because of the actual moving in. So if you think you're going to renovate your entire RV and be able to move in, possibly, maybe, we were able to really do the renovations from Sunday to Sunday. By the end of Sunday night, I think I stayed up till 1.30 in the morning and recovered all those valances and all those cushions and all those pillows, completed everything that I wanted. But moving in took a good fair week. Mm. Um, so it's, it's totally doable and we did it pretty fast to be able to get on the road. Yep. For the budget, we spent roughly $120 in paint. This was polycrylic sealer, Sandra Deglosser, Kills Primer, latex paint, and then we also got another paint, just a light gray to paint the tabletop that we wanted. And the material cost roughly $65 to $70. So under $200, we were able, we were able to paint cabinets, walls, and um, add that material to a poster. I we, think it looks great. We redesigned the entire look of the RV. It looks great. Now that the renovations are over, we're beginning our travels. So if you're interested to follow us this next year, subscribe to our channel, hit that bell for notifications Ding. so that hey, I'm you I'm can uh, follow us and know when we're putting out new videos and new content. Like our channel, subscribe, comment, let us know what you want to see in the details below. And follow us on this next year. We've got the kids with us and we're excited for the adventure. Get out in nature, folks, and as always, watch out for squirrels.